Months now since she died in Mexico while on vacation with a group of friends. Today, one of her attorneys slammed delays in the investigation, saying the autopsy done in the U.S. was done after Shinquella's body had been embalmed. Robinson also said the reports from the second autopsy showed brain swelling, but said the cause of death was inconclusive. So while we're here disappointed, we're not deterred. Um, we're going to continue to press on. We're going to continue to demand that there's a high level of diplomatic intervention in this case. Janquella Robinson's death certificate says she died after suffering a severe spinal cord injury and a broken neck. A video later surfaced that appeared to show her being beaten. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. That is pretty tough, man. Like, that's messed up. Like, Mexico already did their part. They released whatever information and the dockets they had on the murder, on the case, and everything else they got, right? They released it to the U.S. and to the lawyers and whatnot, right? But now the FBI are saying they're not going to be pursuing the case any further. There won't be any arrests. It's been a whole six months since this girl was brutally beaten, killed by her so-called friends because they went to a trip in Mexico and she probably thought everything was going to be cool. And I think the girl was named, what was her name? Dijanay. Yeah, her name was Dijanay. So there was a video showing that she was brutally beaten Shanquila, senseless. The girl wasn't even fighting back, bro. She was kicking, punching, stopping all that, you know what I'm saying? And at some point, her neck got snapped, I guess. And all that evidence is there, you know what I'm saying? And the lawyer is saying, like, the FBI is telling her, like, it's not going any further. There won't be any investigation. Like, that is crazy. With all the information, all the evidence, you know what I'm saying? But that, that is crazy, bro. I get there is certain jurisdiction. You got to, like, certain laws you got to follow because... It happened in a whole nother country, but Mexico, from what I could tell, they were cooperating with the U.S. So everyone thought this was, this was going to be like a smooth case in terms of like all the information they have to put away the so-called friends. But that won't be the case. There won't be any arrests. And I guess that's it, bro. Like, I just want to say R.I.P. to Sean Quayla, bro. And to the mom and the dad, just hold your head up, man. I'm saying it's crazy, bro. Like... It, it don't seem like it's going anywhere. It's crazy, man. I don't know what else to say about this. But, I mean, y'all could get in the comments. Y'all could let me know what y'all think about this story. Y'all know what time it is. Until next time, y'all. Don't got no heart. I got an icebox. Ran a roll and swap out a G-Shock.